everyone and welcome to scuba travel and adventure and thank you for watching my channel if you do this video is not going to be a review of a tire by any means but uh, to start I want to take a moment and say that we all hate those downloads that we got on a new Honda Africa twin I wrote the first season on them they did I had to spend most of the time on the road. I did some minor gravel, but they did not perform good. So after doing some uh, bit of a research, I got to the conclusion what I want to get, what tire I um, will be targeting. And uh, I was reading a lot of reviews and uh, hearing also to some of the comments from you guys that use them. I ended up going with uh, Moto Z Tractionator's uh, GPS and after riding, uh, after having those tires on my motorcycle since uh, beginning of April this year I probably have about 8000 Ks on them, um, maybe 9 uh, there's still a lot of thread life uh, front and back. Uh, I did uh, quite, a bit, quite a bit of a gravel riding. I went uh, to Utah and back to Calgary, Alberta. So that's a, that's a trip. And uh, those tires performed really good. Uh, I was in a heavy rain uh, on the way back from Utah. I got caught in a, pretty heavy snow down in the mountains uh, in Montana and uh, I managed to get through so that will be my go-to tires uh, in the future probably as well so this video like I said it's not a tire review it will be mostly for a new guys that will try to attempt on their own to switch the tire on their motorcycle and uh, so if you get caught in a situation on the road when you need to deal with the problem like a puncture or anything like that you will be able to tackle the task so i will cover uh, step by step installations uh, two tools uh, required i hope you'll enjoy the video if you have any questions you can uh, put in the comment i'll try to help you best as i can by all means i'm not an expert i'm also uh, a guy that attempted it for a first time uh, but I am ready to, to do it on the road if I have to deal with the problem. So again thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Cheers! Be safe on the road! tools required for this job are as follows front axle uh, removal tool I have used motion pro it comes with three different sizes 20 millimeters 24 millimeters and 19 millimeters other tools required uh, will be sockets 19 millimeters 14 millimeters and 12 millimeters tire spoons rim protectors and torque wrench first thing I'm going to remove is brake calipers and I'll do it on both sides while the bike is still on the ground and the wheel is mounted. It's good idea once you remove the brake calipers to secure them uh, so there's no pressure on the hoses. I have used the tie wraps. Next step will be loosen the axle pinch bolts on both sides that are holding the axle using a 14 mm socket. 
uh, then you loosen the axle bolt. If you're working in a garage, it's a good idea to secure the bike uh, with the jack stand uh, before you remove the wheel. Uh, on the road, uh, it might be a different situation, you might have to find something else. If you have a loaded panniers on the road, there's a chance the weight of the loaded panniers will hold the front of the bike up. Be careful when removing the wheel not to lose the spacers. They are the same on both sides. Keep them together with other parts aside for reassembly. It is also a good idea to plug in the axle holes with shop towel to prevent entry of any debris. Now place the wheel on a soft, soft clean surface if possible, not to damage the rotors while taking the tire off. Let the air out and loosen the valve stem nut. Now it is time to start taking the tire off by first breaking the bead. I have used Motion Pro bead breaker. Use the rim protectors if you don't want to scratch the rim. I have two sets. One of them is Motion Pro and the other set is a cheap set from Amazon or eBay. Don't be greedy. Take small bites one at a time. While you're working the, the spoons, keep pushing with your knees to release the tension. Once you get far enough, you should be able to pull the rest of the tire off by hand. As you remove one side of the tire, you're ready to remove the tube. Next, uh, what I did, I stand the wheel up and I was able to pull the other side of the tire completely off by hand. To 
install the new tire, I'm, I'm using dish soap to loop the beads. Put some talc also inside the tire, so you can slide the new tire on the bead much easier. Pay attention to the arrow that indicate the tire rotation. I was able to jam on the tire by hand, the first side. I am ready now to install the, to install the new tube. I have kept my OEM as a spare and installed new Michelin Heavy Duty. To install the other side of the tire, work your spoon slowly, small bites again at a time. Be careful not to pinch the tube. Keep on pushing with your knees down on the tire while you're working your spoons around the tire. When the tire is installed, install the valve core back, fill it with air and now you're ready to balance the tire. I have used a simple static balancer uh, placed on two jack stands. What you have to do is spin the wheel slowly, the heavy side of the wheel will fall down. You want to place the weight on the opposite side, on top. I have used painter's tape to hold the weight temporarily in place. You might have to repeat this process a few times before you get it right. You will know once you have it balanced correctly, as the wheel will keep on spinning slowly, it will not be stopping anymore on a heavy side. Now we are ready for reassembly. Grease the spacers and inside where they sit. Don't use too much grease, just a thin layer. Put spacers back in place and follow this assembly instruction. Use correct torques. The torque specs are located in your motorcycle manual. At this point you should be proud of yourself, the job is done, and now you know for the future how to replace the tire when it's needed. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I hope this video was helpful, if it was please smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be informed of the future new content. Have an awesome day, ride safe out there.